Apple is diving headfirst into the streaming wars, with a new slate of original programming. That sounds great, but what does it all mean? From the shows you'll get to the price you'll pay for it, we've rounded up everything you need to know about Apple TV+. Let's talk about Apple TV+. <laughs> Everyone clutching their wallets can breathe a sigh of relief. Apple TV Plus is going to be among the most affordable of the major streaming services, launching at only $4.99 per month. This is less than half the cost of Netflix's most popular plan, which is $12.99 per month, or Hulu's ad-free plan at $11.99. It's also less than a third of the cost of the upcoming HBO Max, which is likely to cost anywhere from $15 to $18 per month. More comparable to the price point of Apple TV Plus or CBS All Access at $5.99 per month, Hulu's $5.99 ad-supported plan, and Disney Plus, which will cost $6.99 per month when it launches in November. However, for early birds who jumped on Disney's special offer and paid up front in August of 2019, they'll have gotten the best bargain of all, snagging Disney Plus for three years for less than $4 per month. It's a commitment, but a cheap commitment. Right now, Apple TV Plus can't compete with that, not unless they also decide to roll out a similar discount, designed to tie subscribers to their service for a few years. Just a little over seven months after the tech company first announced their new streaming service, Apple TV Plus will hit screens beginning on November 1, 2019. The app will launch simultaneously in over 100 countries and regions, meaning that no matter where you're located, there's a pretty good chance you'll be able to access the service before the end of the year. This is a significantly larger reach than Disney Plus, which launches two weeks later in only three countries. Disney has said they expect their streaming service to be available in all major markets within two years which means it will likely take them a while to catch up to Apple's substantial lead. However, the scope of both services pales in comparison to Netflix, which is already available in more than 190 countries, and is probably their most formidable competition. Unlike other streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Disney+, which stream their own original movies and TV series alongside an expansive catalog of licensed and archival content, Apple TV intends to launch with an all-original slate of movies and shows. Apple has reportedly spent upwards of $6 billion on their original content, which includes a number of new shows starring some of the biggest names in Hollywood. So far, we know of nine confirmed titles that will be available upon the service's launch on November 1, 2019, although more are likely on the way. These include The Morning Show, a behind-the-scenes TV drama starring Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, and Steve Carell, C, a speculative sci-fi series starring Jason Momoa, and Dickinson, a comedic take on the life of poet Emily Dickinson starring Haley Steinfeld. Also at launch, Apple TV Plus will boast the new series Ghost Rider, Helpsters, For All Mankind, and an original show from Oprah focusing on the topic of mental health. Dozens of other shows are also in various stages of production, with release dates still to be announced. We're going to Mars, Saturn, the stars, the galaxy. While Apple TV Plus will be launching with a number of original series, and the company has said that feature films will be a significant part of its offering going forward, only two feature-length originals have been announced to be available at launch. One is the documentary The Elephant Queen, which is narrated by Chiwetel Ejiofor and follows a mother elephant and her herd on their search for a new watering hole. The other is Snoopy in Space, an animated film focusing on the Peanuts characters. Otherwise, Apple has announced only one feature film in the works, On the Rocks, starring Bill Murray and Rashida Jones and directed by Sofia Coppola, which will follow a young mother as she attempts to reconnect to her wealthy father. Despite the slim pickings at launch, Apple does intend to build a robust slate of original films films to stream alongside its original series. In November of 2018, the company announced its partnership with film studio A24, which will produce multiple films that will play on Apple TV+. A24's past films include numerous Oscar winners and nominees, including Lady Bird, Ex Machina, and Moonlight. Their deal with Apple seems to indicate that not only will the tech giant be taking its film slate seriously, but that it'll also be angling for some major awards. Although Apple TV Plus's $5 price point is about as affordable as streaming service subscriptions come, there is a way to get your subscription for even less money month to month, although it requires a hefty upfront cost. Starting on September 10, 2019, Apple began including a free year-long subscription to Apple TV Plus with the purchase of any new or refurbished iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, iPod Touch, or Mac. Plus, through the use of family sharing, up to five more of your family members can also access the service using your free subscription. 
However, free in this case is only from a certain point of view. While it's true that your bank account won't be charged the $4.99 per month fee for Apple TV Plus if you purchase a new Apple device, you're still out the cost of the device. So as tempting as the idea of a free year-long subscription might seem, it's probably only a good deal if you were already in the market for a new Apple device anyway. Once Apple TV Plus launches, there will be a number of convenient ways for you to access the service. Assuming, that is, you're already an Apple customer. The Apple TV app comes pre-installed on iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and iPod Touch. In order to play Apple TV Plus content, your device will likely need to be running a recent version of Apple software, meaning you'll need to have updated to iOS 12.3 or later, tvOS 12.3 or later, or macOS Catalina. You'll also be able to access the Apple TV app through some Samsung smart TVs, and in the future, you can expect to see the app show up on Amazon Fire TV, LG, Roku, Sony, and Vizio platforms. However, if you don't own an Apple device or a supported Samsung TV, and if you're not in the market to upgrade your devices to a supported model in the near future, your only option for watching Apple TV Plus content will be through your web browser at tv.apple.com, where you can sign up for the service and stream content. Unlike Disney Plus, which supports a wider variety of devices, Apple has announced no plans to make their app available on Chromecast, PlayStation, Xbox, or Android devices. What happened to your TV? We had a disagreement. Although most of the shows and movies currently announced for Apple TV Plus will be in English, the service will have a number of options available to make its content more accessible for subscribers who speak other languages or are hard of hearing. At launch, Apple TV Plus content will be subtitled or dubbed in nearly 40 different languages, including subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing and closed captions. Additionally, all of the content available on Apple TV Plus will be available with audio descriptions in eight languages. In order to activate a show or film's accessibility features and change your audio options, you'll simply go to the Titles Information page in the iTunes Store or Apple TV app and scroll to either the Languages or Accessibility section, depending on which functionality you need. More information on how to enable subtitles or audio descriptions in your Apple TV app is available on Apple's website. Oftentimes, it can be convenient to be able to download a show or film from a streaming service to watch offline. Maybe you're traveling or heading to a place with limited internet access. Or maybe your internet connection is glitchy and you want to ensure you'll be able to watch your selection without worrying that it will start freezing or skipping. Fortunately, Apple has confirmed that Apple TV Plus will include a download option for its original content, giving you the freedom to save a title to your device to watch at your convenience, no matter where you are. What's less queer is exactly what sorts of restrictions Apple will be placing on downloads. It's likely that the service may place limits on how many shows you can download at one time, or on how many times you can download the same show. It also may restrict your ability to download the same show or film on multiple devices at once, and download options may vary depending on your subscription option and what sort of device you're using. It's almost hard to remember a time when streaming services didn't grant us access to entire seasons of television series all at once. Netflix popularized the full-season binge model, which is also how Amazon Prime releases their series. Other services, such as Hulu and the upcoming Disney Plus, though, go against that trend by sticking to a one-new-episode-per-week schedule. Now, every time a new streaming service is announced, one of the first questions potential subscribers ask is whether its shows will be released all at once or one episode at a time. Apple TV Plus will actually be taking a bit of a hybrid approach to their release schedule, marrying binge and weekly release models together for a format that allows viewers to binge just enough to get hooked on a series, but then requires them to exercise patience for the rest. While some series will have their full seasons become available all at once, most Apple TV Plus shows will premiere with three episodes, and then move to a one-a-week schedule. So if you want to binge an entire series of an Apple TV Plus show in one sitting, you're out of luck unless you're willing to wait until after the full season has aired. Unlike other streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and CBS All Access, or upcoming services such as Disney Plus and HBO Max, Apple TV Plus is unique in its approach to its streaming library, in that it won't include any licensed content at all. Basically, what this means is that you shouldn't expect to see any old favorites show up on Apple TV Plus. Their entire streaming library will be made up of originals that haven't ever previously aired anywhere else, and which you won't be able to find on any other streaming service. Everything 
Anything you watch on Apple TV Plus can only be watched on Apple TV Plus and won't include anything you've ever seen before. This explains Apple's staggering $6 billion investment in original content for Apple TV Plus. Since it will be the only streaming service with an entirely original slate of shows and films, it makes sense that the company is sinking a significant amount of money into making sure they produce a wide variety of high-quality content that will keep viewers engaged. However, it's worth noting that Apple's budget still doesn't come close to the money Netflix spends on original content, which is expected to hit $15 billion by the end of 2019. For individuals curious about Apple TV Plus who don't necessarily want to commit to the $4.99 per month subscription cost and don't want to purchase a new device in order to receive a free subscription, you're still kind of in luck. Apple TV Plus will be offering a free 7-day trial for customers new to the service, starting at launch on November 1st. The free trial will give subscribers access to all of the service's features and will be available across all of their devices, just like the paid service. At the end of the 7 days, your Apple TV Plus subscription will automatically renew at the $4.99 per month rate, which will then continue to renew monthly until you cancel the service. In order to avoid being charged after your trial, you'll need to make sure to cancel the subscription before your 7 days are complete. But of course, by then, Apple is hoping you'll be hooked on the streaming service and will gladly shell out your hard-earned $5 per month in order to keep watching. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!